Today is December 1st, 2004. This is Dr. Jared Rowley speaking, and my patient's name is Jake Smith. As per authoritative requests, all sessions with Mr. Smith from this point forward will be recorded for use in the Discovery Island case. Now, Jake, before we get started, I'm going to briefly explain the circumstances behind your admittance here on tape for the sake of documentation. Is that okay? Uh, okay. Jake Smith was declared missing in 2003 during the Discovery Island incident. A year later, on July 23, 2004, he was found and taken into custody after displaying signs of delusions and paranoia. Dang. He's a suspect in the disappearance of Greg McLaughlin, Lisa Birch, and Henry Miller. Now, Jake, can you tell me anything you recall from your time on Discovery Island? We spoke about it a little during our first session, but I've been asked to get a statement on tape. Maybe you'd like to start from the beginning and work your way from there? About your time as an intern? No? That's... that's all right, Jake. We can do that again whenever you're comfortable. Maybe... maybe you'd like to talk about what exactly caused you to vanish like that, or where you were when you were missing. I know you said it was a blur, but maybe trying to talk about it will help you remember. Okay, that's... that's also fine. What about the cabin? Can you tell me about the cabin, Jake? You told me that nothing happened there during our last session, but considering what you did to the place... Look, this case has stumped the authorities, Disney, even the agency you work for. Disney. Aboard. There's just dead end after dead end, and your friend's families have no answers. We know something happened in that cabin. If you don't want to talk about it right now, that's okay too. But please, I think getting it off your chest at some point would really benefit you. The sooner they get answers, the sooner we can focus on helping you. I will back. admit this intro is a you little bit all this behind you, Jake. long. You I was expecting it to like end a, a lot sooner life than, life than life this, life but for some life. reason it's going you on really and on and on and on and on. You, now please tell me about the cabin. Oh, so now, okay, well, welcome to Ablitus Casa. I've actually had this Final Fantasy fan game on my radar for quite a long time. And I think it's one of those fan games that is widely praised, I think. And this game was actually made by the Radiance team, and I've actually played a f couple of their games, like uh, Fire Nuts Chuck E. Cheese's, I played that about a couple years ago, and I think I also played Treasure Island, which, because they mentioned Discovery Island, I was thinking, is that connected to Treasure Island, perchance, maybe? It probably is, but I don't know if I've actually played the newest version of Treasure Island on the channel. If I have, then... But if I haven't, I might play that soon in this month, maybe. But, uh, wait, options. Why is all of this off? Grind mode? Fast mode? Rich <laughs> what does this mean? I don't know what fast mode means. I don't know what grind... Uh, we'll just leave that alone for now. So, let's go for new game. Now, will this have camera looking? Because as much as camera looking or sit and survive style gameplay has been a part of FNAF for a very, very, very long time, if this is another sit and survive fan game, I'm not going to be very, very pleased, but I'll still give it a go anyway. So, new game. But yeah, that intro, I did feel like it was it went on for a little bit too long for my liking. 11.30... Cam! <laughs> Come on, man! Notepad. Your friends are dead. <laughs> okay, my friends are all dead! Great, great news! I am here to help you. The music on the cameras fools him. Right, so it's kind of like during 
your uh, d d drawing him, the animatronic, whatever it is, to wherever you want. Okay, distant sounds are less effective than... Okay, so basically, like, the, the camera next to him, okay? Use that to your advantage. Check... Check the notepad frequently. I mean, I'll, I'll try my best. Attic. So this has point-and-click elements whilst having a camera. Cameras. I gotta admit, this... This is... I'd... I'm not used to uh, FNAF fan games having this sort of scrolling, like this sort of presentation. It, it feels so rich and polished. Maybe that's where the rich presence comes into place in the settings. Probably. Return. Cameras. What's, what's on the camera? Okay. <gasps> you, know what's, you know what's funny? Is that this reminds me of... A Final Fantasy fan game that I tried making called uh, Blunderbots, and it was cringe as hell. But uh, I'm not okay. So yeah, it's pretty obvious that we started. <laughs> you have been given a second chance. Your best friend will ward off one of the mice in the rabbit. The dog does not like the light. So the dog is like Foxy. Uh, the dog will try to trick you. Watch what head you. The other mouse is not like you to... Wait, hang on, wait. This is a totally different area. Wait, what the? Wait, what the? What the? What? This is what? Okay, now I feel like I'm in Treasure Island. Actually, this. This is actually. Why? Hi? What the fuck does YBF mean? And why do I... Why, why, why do I have a scary face like this? Scary smile. Oh. Do, do I see something... But I'm so... Com I'm really, really confused about this. What What am I doing? Um. Oh, I can use a light. I'm guessing I'm in this area, this blank area, right? Oh? Um? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck? How- what, what- Why is everything so dark? Do I have to find the light in this place? Like, the light switch? Like- Hi? Um... Okay... <laughs> Aren't I meant to be dead? Okay, game over. But... Was I... Wasn't I meant to be dead from the previous... Okay, so here we... Here we are again. Okay. So... What the fuck was that all about? Night one... Okay. So we were in the cabin, okay, we were, we were in there, but where were we just then, though, like? Because it, it felt like I was playing Treasure Island, Final Fantasy Treasure Island, but like a, I don't know, revamped version of it, maybe, I don't know. But what the fuck happened? Okay, so, uh... Instead of gallivanting about the place, let's... So we've got music, and we've got camera? Like a snapshot, maybe? Am I able to see him? Herobrine in Minecraft? Are we able to see him? Oh. Okay, well, we do see him. Okay, um. So I'm guessing this is me, right? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ward you off. Um, wait. <laughs> okay! Um, sure. What about over here? <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. So this is reminding me a lot of, um, Tubbyland, the game that I played semi-recently. I, th I think, anyway, yeah, Tubbyland, where you're warding the character animatronic to somewhere else. Where did you go? There you are, okay. S no, stay put, stay put. That's it, thank you. Right, so what's the camera all about then? 
I don't know what that's all about. But okay. So what's the attic about then? Like, do I need to make sure that nobody gets in? I don't... All I know is that I need to, like, you know, sit and survive and... Uh, um, Mate, get back here! That's right, that's right, that's right! So, so far, this is just, you know, your pretty substandard gameplay. Nothing to it. It's all fine and dandy. Uh, why? I told you to stay put, and you disobeyed me. Thank you very much. Pretty quick, though, to come back here. It's like, he's, he's so naive, he's so blind, that he's literally just come back to where he was before. And he's just so stupid that he doesn't realise that it's the exact same sound coming from this area. Stupid. But yeah, I guess I just gotta, you know, survive till 6am and see what night 2 brings us, maybe? I do wonder, though. If I stay in the cameras, will something bad to happen in the attic? Because there is a there, there's a reason why I'm able to go into the attic, right? There's a reason, right? There has to be a reason why I'm able to go into the attic, right? Unless it's uh, for another night, maybe. I do think that having the mechanic so that when he moves to another camera, you can just. I suppose I just go to the attic and hide, right? Um. Oh, you. Hi. Can I just like? So where you're in here, right? You're just in here. Oh, hello. Okay, so obviously, you can't just sit in the cameras. Your best friend will ward off one of the mice. So your best friend will ward off one of the mice and the rabbit. The dog does not like the light. The dog will try to trick you, watch what head you click. The other mouse does not like you st I don't know what that means. Wait, so this is like a... This is like a... A pup... I'm guessing that's the thing that doesn't like me staring? I swear like the... Okay, th this does not make any sense. It's just, you know, telling me a bunch of shit. Telling me a bunch of information. And I'm like, what's what? I'm supposed to just identify which one's which? Game, you you got to give me some leeway here. you you got to give me something to, you know, base your whatever of. You can't just expect me to know exactly what you're talking about just by telling me. That's not how this works. Thing is, though, I've been keeping the... I've been keeping... The, him, um, distant from me. I've been doing that. I thought that he was like the only thing here. And I'm assuming that nothing happens in the attic, or, or otherwise it would tell me what to do in the attic, right? It should, it, it would do, it should do. So, you are the only one here, right? You are the only one here, right? So you're there, okay. Okay, and now you over here. Okay, good, good. So you are the only one in here, right? Nobody else. So how the hell did that happen? Was that just like a hallucination? Was I actually completely 100% fine? And that I could just still go about my daily duties of, you know, keeping you fucking away from me? Because if there was someone else in here with me and I couldn't see them on the cameras and there was nothing else telling me what to do, then game, 
You're not doing enough to help me survive here. And what the heck is this camera all about then, as well? Because I've got a camera snapshot. Like, what, what, what does that mean? Do I just do that on you? I mean, I feel like I've done something that I shouldn't have done, but I don't know what I'm doing. It's not telling me what to do. But I'll just keep on doing music because there seems to be war works. Time. Something new. <laughs> I heard he isn't nice. I mean, by him jump scaring me earlier, um, I already know that. Okay. So I'm assuming I'm fine. Like, I'm assuming I am completely fine, right? It, this is just a distraction. It's just a hallucination or something like that. I'm completely fine, right? Just gonna keep this guy at bay. You know what? It's being a bit more quick this time. I mean, I will admit it's haunting sounds. It is haunting. But I guess we'll just keep it like this I mean so far the thing in my room is not doing absolutely anything it's just haunting me so maybe I am fine after all so I could say that and I get jump scared but I'm, de I'm definitely waiting for that but I think I'm fine Okay, well I did the, I did get jump scared. Um what do I do about that? Game again, you're not giving me much. Uh so le so the, leave here quickly, she is angry. So that's the one that I couldn't really read beforehand. So I'm really, really confused. Why did it go dark the last time? What do I do about it going dark? Why am I here? This... Whilst this game does have interesting elements, because it's not your usual traditional uh, FNAF fan game, because, you know, being given a second chance and you can, um, you know, do a bit better, maybe, it's still very, very strange because you get you you're given these instructions but you don't really have anything to base them off of like why can't i why can't i go into ybf anymore like what what's that all about and what happened there this is why um uh, as much as i really do like the presentation I feel like the game mechanics... It, it, it feels like I'm being expected to know what I'm doing. That's what it feels like. Even though, I mean, most of the time you have to like figure it out yourself anyway. But it feels like I'm expected to know what I'm doing. Even though it's given me instructions to avoid these things. And yet, I have other things happening which I don't know what to do about, and I assumed go to the attic, but that apparently did jack shit. I assume that the attic is me hiding, right? But then the other thing did not leave, and I mean I could maybe try going to the attic again. You know what? Screw it. I'll try again. Wait, wait, I was gonna say, I can't even go into the attic anymore, why? Okay, so let's just try this. We're probably gonna get jump scared in here, but let's just try anyway. Though, if we do survive, then at least we now know how to survive, but I think that we're gonna get jump scared in here. I, I'm like pretty sure, yeah. So, 
I don't know what to do about this then. And we're gonna die in this area as well. Because I don't know what to do about this either. So. Okay, you can go now. I don't know what it means by watch what head you click though. That makes. what it's talking about, I don't know. YBF, what does that mean? What's YBF? Watch what head you click, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Okay. Wait, so did I click the... Oh, so I'm um, okay. So I'm clicking heads then. I'm uh, um, okay. I am. Oh. Uh, uh, well, I don't know where the other head is. Well, okay, we died again. At least we were sort of making progress then. That was the that was a good thing. We were making slight progress with the heads. But how was I supposed to know that I was supposed to pick up heads? I mean, I suppose the whole zero out of three. But like, how was I supposed to know that I'm supposed to be picking up heads in the cameras? How am I supposed to know this shit, man? Anyway, that has been a British castle. It's um. A very questionable FNAF fan game. I'm pretty 100% sure that a lot of other people have managed to get through it because they've actually spent their sweet ass time and effort to, you know, get through it because, you know, they're usually FNAF tubers. But me, just wanted to check it out. And it's fine. I just think it lacks in communication. Like, knowing what to do, because the thing about Final Fantasy is that a lot of them are, are like, We're going back to the settings, what does fast mode mean? What does grind mode mean? This is the most interesting options. Part of me wants to go back in and like, if nothing is changed, then I, I don't know. Rich, what does any of this mean? I wish that there was like a description to uh, say what these mean, because they're to they, they are completely new options. But there's, uh, there's, there's no description to say what turning them on means. So... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to end of the video before I ramble on and on and on. And <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you have all enjoyed, and I shall see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.